The swift takedown of Ahmed Khan Rahami is being credited to vigilant civilians, brave law enforcement, and the keen intelligence sharing that's come about in the post 9-11 era. It's hard to imagine the case being made any more quickly than it was. Um, you know, the events from the weekend led to an arrest on Monday. Um, it's extraordinary. And when you think about the flow of information and the level of cooperation that's necessary to get that done, it really is inspiring. The Seaside Park bomb plot along a military 5K run followed by the explosion in Chelsea set off a chain of events between law enforcement agencies. Today, the state's top officer, Attorney General Chris Perino, said part of that involves the ROC, or State Police Regional Operations Intelligence Center. I can't get into the specifics, but I'll say that the sharing and the cooperation is completely seamless. There are no state lines when it comes down to tracking down terrorism. Authorities are reluctant to share just how the information trickles down, though Linden Mayor Derek Armstead says his team relies on a digital alert system to communicate internally and with outside towns. We had gotten a, uh, we have something called Nixle. We had gotten uh, alerts over our phones as to who the individual was um, prior to him being involved in or engaged with our officers in town. So we knew who he was um, and we were on the lookout for him. And I, and I think that contributed a tremendous amount when Officer Padilla uh, first approached the uh, individual. He knew right off who he was dealing with. Fifteen years ago, unfortunately, different intelligence agencies, the Secret Service, the FBI, Defense Intelligence, NSA, and other entities of federal and state governments like the state police and others, they developed intelligence, but they kept it to themselves as if it was their own proprietary information. And they were reluctant to share it because they wanted to have that edge. The 9-11 Commission changed that and they call for a massive integrated sharing of intelligence so all agencies, federal, state and local, would have simultaneously an inf critical information to avoid an act. But in this video captured by NJ Advance Media, Ahmed Rahami's father tells reporters he twice reported his son to federal authorities. Did you call the FBI? Yes. Call the FBI. There's an awful lot of people in our law enforcement and our citizens would want to know if that was real and if that's true. Uh, that information should have been shared with us, or at least the FBI should have monitored this place more closely if that's true. The FBI did not respond to questions about the father's claim, though a New York Times article says officers opened what's known as an assessment, a basic investigation that was inconclusive and did not warrant putting Rahami on a watch list. In this case, authorities also credit the way information was released to the public who, through a series of deeds, led officials to make the capture, emphasizing the biggest weapon in fighting terrorism or any crime still lies with us. In Newark, I'm Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.